And joining us now for more on the alarming statements coming from the Israeli health authorities is Professor Manfred Green, Director of the Masters in Public Health Program at the University of Haifa. Thank you so much for being with us, Professor. Now, first off, you know, what is the difference between the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine? Okay, I'm going to say something I don't usually do. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm a physician epidemiologist, and I've had a long-term experience in testing vaccines. And I say this because I see so many people being interviewed who don't really have expertise. <laughs> but let's go on. You want basically for me to tell you something about the difference between the two vaccines? Yes, I do, they because I understand that they both work on RNA. Right, they have essentially the same technology, mRNA, is slightly different, uh, based what you would say, slightly different platform, but essentially the same technology, the same concept. So, so do you, you know, what do you, what do you think about uh, Deputy Director General Professor Itamar Grato's support for nixing the second dose of, of the Pfizer vaccine, at least? Does that alarm you? Generally speaking, we prefer not to mix, but there's no, not necessarily a very sound uh, reason for, for not mixing. It, it depends on the circumstances. If the technology is the same, uh, then it shouldn't really have any real impact. Uh, there may be slight differences, basically, in terms of the formulation, the dosage, and so on. But uh, by and large, it's not usually a problem. But aside from mixing these two different vaccines for the two doses, you know, there's been a lot, of, a, a lot of argument that maybe we can make do with just one dose instead of two of either. You know, does, does that alarm you in any way? Um, it alarms me not because it's impossible, but because of the way the decisions are being taken. Let me just make a few comments and be not, not, try not to be too critical. What happened in the UK was that they saw this large increase in cases and felt, I guess, that they were to some extent losing control of the situation. And the, the decision to, uh, to delay the second dose, because I think they've not just gone over to one dose, but they delay it, I think was taken fairly hastily. The, basically, when a vaccine is produced and it goes through the phase trials, phase one, phase two, and so on, there is a dosing schedule that's tested. In other words, the companies actually test which is the best dose and which is the best, best combination. So when you deviate from that, you're really going into virtually another trial. You're not actually, uh, you know, you're not actually using it the way it was tested. So that could be a problem. And uh, maybe I'll just add a couple of points on that. Yeah, I think the, the idea in the UK, as I understand it, is to delay the second dose to three months later. And that, there are several problems with that. One is that you may not have enough immunity from the first dose, and you may lose that in that three-month period. The second is that many people may not come for the second dose because it's uh, stretched out. And, uh, and the third is that we really don't know to what extent that will affect long-term immunity. So, so do, what proof do we have, really, for the, either the vaccine or the, either the Moderna or the Pfizer vaccines, what proof do we have for its longevity in any case? We don't. Well, clearly it's a new vaccine and we don't have really a great deal of information about the real long term. Uh, we now have several months, uh, basically, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more from the trial. Uh, but, and it'll take us time. So we really have to go on the basis of two things on the biology. In other words, what kind of antibodies are produced uh, and the sort of the lab stuff. And the other is to compare it basically with other vaccines, which may be using a different technology, but essentially the idea is to induce antibodies. So it does seem to us that it'll have, if the, if the virus doesn't change substantially, uh, it could, uh, if you have the two doses, you could have long-term immunity. Um, but again, if you ask me whether we have data on that, obviously we don't, because it hasn't been used for that long. All right, Professor Green, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. All the best.